video we are going to discuss how to create this lava shader so let's begin first i'm going to add a plane rotate it on the x-axis so i can see it and scale it down now apply a material to said plane let's do Control t with node wrangler enabled to create a mapping texture coordinate with a texture node and change this to a wave let's do e 24 and 16 e and do hashtag frame times 0.05 which will animate the phase offset now we're going to add a color ramp and insert these values in here the link will be provided in the description of the video with these hex codes let's plug them in this will be maybe one of the more tedious parts but it is all well worth it and i accidentally copied this wrong and let's plug this into here plug this into a new node it's about five colors but it will get the effect that we want plug this into this one and for time's sake let's just distribute stops evenly and let's plug the color of this also into the admission now let's tackle the bump of this so we're going to do a color ramp again plug this into here let's do a bump node and as we normally do we plug this into the normal and i'm going to go to my shader here and preview it oh and that's because i don't have it previewed is was not showing anything and we already sort of have the base so let's continue adding more to this we're going to change this to object I'm going to add a mix here and change this to add. I'm going to add a noise. Nope, I meant a noise texture. Don't plug that into there. Do this. Plug this into color and plug this mapping node into our vector of our noise texture and this will offset our effect so the wave texture will be more interesting and finally we're going to add some interesting things to the emission strength so let's go to here again and add a map range node plug this into this noodle and let's do e divided by five and then in this one we do e divided by five plus 0.01 as our value because we want to clamp this value now i'm going to add some math nodes in here to basically create an interesting fall off for my effect so i'm going to change this to minimum and do 0.999 duplicate this let's drag it into here let's move this up give us a little more space and change this to logarithm and let's plug this into here change this to multiply plug this into multiply and duplicate this oh, plug it into this noodle move this over since we're running out of space here and plug this into the emission strength and now you can see we have a fall off where the emission lies and this is the shader. So there's a similar effect. The color ramp needs to be adjusted. So tinker with these values, push this up, push this here. And that about does it in terms of things to change. We need to do one more thing to change the roughness here and adjust the specular to be a little more interesting. And that about does it, you can adjust this emission strength and i think because the object is so small it's hard to fully see the same thing um, let me just double check 
everything is about accurate. You can see that the color ramp here is a little different, but once you make these adjustments, it will be about the same. So let's just do that real quick. We'll do E divided by 16. And this is probably E divided by four. And this is E divided by three. And there you go. So I hope you enjoyed and you should experiment with certain parts of it. For example, experiment with this noise texture, maybe change it to a lower value, adjust this factor here, and maybe even change this to a Voronoi texture as well. So I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching.